All right, Twitch and uh, YouTube, what's up? Yeah, I just had to check my settings real fast. So uh, yeah, uh, another double feature tonight. Um, yeah, so I'll just introduce the teams. On top, we have For The Wing Gaming, and then on the bottom, we have uh, two dimes. So we'll introduce the units for each of them. We have uh, Shax, the Sacred, uh, Zavala, the Summoner, Ikora, the Chemist, and Kate Six Rip, the Ninja. Uh, and now for two dimes, we have Foxtrot, the Priest, Uniform, the Samurai, Charlie, the Chemist, and Kilo, the Geomancer. Um, so I really haven't been able to take a thorough look at the uh, at the teams yet. So the one thing I did notice right off the bat is uh, Martial Arts Ninja, you know, with uh, headgear. So he's going to have 11 PA. He'll be able to one-shot most people, I think. Um, Ares. Neutral Compat. You could probably kill everybody here. Yeah. This ninja, if he gets both of his fish shots in, he'll kill everybody here in one shot. Uh, maybe not this G-Mancer because of defense up, but uh, yeah, another martial arts uh, samurai, 12 PA, and still pretty low health. You know, 220 despite the armor. Um, yeah, so this is your your, your uh, utility chemist has some evasion. Um, cannot be hit by Earth Slash, so that's something to note. This ninja will not be able to hit the chemist because of uh, Feather Boots with the float effect. Um, yeah, so we basically have two tanky utility chemists right here. One with equipped armor, the other one with the uh, equipped shield. Um, sing and battle skill. Let's see what breaks she has. Yeah, all the equipment breaks. Interesting. Um, really beefy defensive, or really beefy hard-hitting sacred here, so... Um, first map we're going to go to, there's no some magic, thankfully. We're going to go to, uh, uh, Fort Zeekden, map 49. So, here we are. Um, yeah, pretty small map where you, uh, kill that bastard, uh, Algus, you know, betraying, uh, t uh, Delita and killing his sister, Tata. Yeah, there's the Earth Slash going into effect, like I mentioned beforehand. 80 damage, still a good amount. That's probably a little less than half of the Priest. Um, Sacred just biding his time. He can't do anything. Yeah, about half of her HP. She did move forward, though, so it just seems a little dangerous. Especially with that Summoner there. Unless he dies or d yeah, isn't putting critical. However, she might throw a High Potion and keep him in the fray. Yeah. So that Summoner might get a turn in. Unless he gets, like, Elemental here, right? 50. He's uh, not in critical yet, so he should be on the aggression. 240 damage summon. Nope, Holy goes off first. Uh, looks like a triple man summon, though. I mean, the priest is going to die here. Unless there's a kill shot? No. I don't know if the chemist was in range. Oh, shit. Yeah, triple kill. Oh my god. <laughs> that chemist is just going to throw a phoenix down. Uh, yeah. And the uh, the chemist on two dimes is in. This uh, male geomancer. He's going to be just uh, resing people. So it looks like this is going to be going to... Uh, uh, yeah, this is going to be going to... God damn, I forgot the guy's name already. Sorry. It's going to be going to the other team though for sure. Yeah, see, like like I said, this uh, summoner is just going to finish them off real quick. Yep. Yeah, does that... I think he has half of MP. I didn't really pay attention when I was going through the stats a little bit. But yeah, I think that was two Bahamuts. Holy shit. So, alright, because I'm derping. Or the teams. Oh, for the one gaming. Okay, cool. Yeah, does this bastard have had Oh, magic attack up. Alright, well that explains it. Um, Blade Grasp, okay, whatever. That works. He has 120 MP, so it makes sense. Um, so, for the one gaming took the first round. Um, going at the gate of Ryavane's castle. So, we're... Uh, Rafa and Malak teleport away. So... Uh, that sacred is going to have a little bit of difficulty just getting to the team because he's got low mobility, three move, three jump. 
See, he, I think he's going to be able to traverse the ground. Oh, he can actually go up that way. I didn't think he had enough height to go up those uh, panels. So, all right, well, the, sing the songs are going to go off now in our large. Just got to finish this Mountain Dew, don't mind me, as they uh, inch forward. Ugh. Uh, Earth Slash, you're right through the floor. Half of that back from damage split. So, 40 damage, yeah. You got peppered a little bit, but not too bad. Uh, Samurai can use the Earth Slash himself, though. 108 damage, pretty good. Because remember, he's got 12 PA in martial arts. Chemist is just kind of doing her thing, healing up a little bit. Uh, I bet there's going to be Elemental. Any Petrifies? No, there's not, but the Ninja is in Critical. If anything, the Ninja is going to use Earth Slash and then run away. Um, that summoner, I don't know if he would get in range and hit two people. He might hit one. No, he's going for, it looks like, a, either a fairy or a moogle. Uh, chakra. I'm just gonna run away after that. Okay, I'm not sure if the fairy's targeted. I believe it is. On the ninja. Yeah, so he's back to full, but they've just been constantly healing each other up. Uh, that's probably a haste because the time ages have been doing that constantly. Charm? Oh, uh-oh. It's a 5v3, and that, uh... Sacred should be getting a turn in shortly. He hasn't taken any actions. He might get a turn up before that uh, summoner and kill him off. 108, once again, that's more than half of the ninja's HP. It's about two-thirds. Uh, yeah. Um, 105 for a Mimic Titan, and that's like with Gather Power twice. But still, that charm is very effective. Because now they're going to have... Uh, and wow, one of those punches missed. If both of those punches connected, that Samurai would have died. Because he's got 224 HP and that would have taken 112 times 2. He would have been killed 100%. Yeah, now it is effectively a 5v2. This is not good. And abandoned and it did not matter. Um, I just want to pause. Don't mind me. Don't mind me pausing. I just want to check and see if he had evasion from the side. He did. He did have a mantle. Um, he, he still didn't evade with the abandon. Abandon, I believe, is a... I think it's a... A 100% multiplier, it doubles your evasion from the sides. So, but even so, 18 times 2 is 27. It's still not the highest percentage, but still. Yeah, so we will be going to a tiebreaker this time. That uh, sacred is just going to take out that um, female chemist very shortly. She can throw phoenix stones all she wants, but she's not going to be able to heal her own HP. And when that sacred charm from all the way down there, what the hell? There's no height discrepancy. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> he was just singing his tunes and she fell in love with him as he was atop his tower. You think it's the other way around where the male's on top of the tower and the female... Or no, the female's on top of the tower, singing her lullaby, and the male tries to sweep her off her feet going to the castle. But alas... MP switch! Ooh! I kind of forgot about that, that um, because MP switch triggers, it doesn't cause physical damage, so the charm is still into effect. Um, these guys got to start dealing with that sacred, though. Um, that sacred is just a little bit concerning because he's gotten like three or four Mimic Titans off. So if he gets a counter, no, I right, smarter than to use Wave Fist because the counter could go off and like one shot somebody completely. Right? Let's see. Uh oh, Mimic Titan. Now three hundred damage. Okay. Holy though. All right, so it is up to a Charmed Chemist. Uh, it's effectively a five on zero. Uh, we will be going to our tiebreaker. I don't know a tiebreaker map I want to go to because, again, there's very few medium maps. While we wait uh, for this to go on, I'm going to pull it up in Notepad separately. Uh, the music should still be going, or the sound effects. Yep. Okay. Let's look at uh, our maps for mediums. Fuck, there's a lot of them. Jesus Christ. Well, there we go. That's our tiebreaker. Uh, fuck it, I guess we're going to go to Bed Desert, map number 82. Again, this list could be outdated because it's for another patch. And the positions are a little bit different, but... I'll use my discretion. We'll take a crack at it. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Ah, uh, this is a medium? Fuck it, I don't care. Uh, they're, they're, they're closer to each other than they would be uh, um, 
than they were at the Rivain's area. There was a lot more elevation too, so. Yeah, that, that, um, the samurai might be able to walk up to that tower and hit the ninja with the uh, earth slash. See, they're already in range, yeah. So this is a fine uh, medium tiebreaker. So yeah, two dimes enough for the win gaming, my bad. Yeah, I just don't remember the names before, but it's okay. Um... Again, I, I always like having this uh, the camera at a, at a at a slant at an angle like that. Oh shit! And she dies for it. Oh, that's not good. I think that gunshot. I think the gunshot was from the female. Ca yeah, I think she has. Darkness doesn't matter on the summoner. Yeah, she did a gunshot in combination, so it kills off the priest. But um, she's dead. Uh, he's not. Damage split. Okay. So we're pretty neck and neck even right now. Both damage dealers are down. The holy spamming priest and then the um, uh, the summoning elemental spamming summoner. Uh, looks like he's going for a fairy. Um, I think an earth slash will kill him off. Oh, no, you got no. He's still alive. Okay, that samurai. I'm not sure if that samurai has chakra. Um, There's a good use of the fairy because he was able to heal up not just the ninja but also that uh, sacred too. Or I should say, um, the summoner. The summoner and the sacred got healed up. That sacred took the um, damage split damage. A mimic titan? No friendly fire, that's pretty good. Remember, uh, defense up on that uh, that uh, geomancer, so that's why it did so little damage. Dam uh, defense up and MP switch. Is she dead? Yeah. Wave fist, that elevation, the perfect traction. Uh, I think another melee shot and he's dead, unless the Geomancer gets a turn in. If the Geomancer gets a turn in, uh, we can still win this. Uh, I don't know if we'll kill him off here. That's weird, because I think he could do like 70 damage with a melee shot. I guess the Earth Slash does the trick too. Yeah, I think they just wasted two turns. Because I think that, uh, I think that Samurai could have done something about it. I think the Samurai could have just finished off the, the Summoner himself, but, uh, it's whatever. So now they're going to be a little, uh, a little trade-off. The chemists are going to be reviving, and then the geomancer and the ninja are going to keep on putting people down constantly. Yep, see? And I think he's got, oh no, yep. Yeah, see, this is what's going to turn into a little bit of a loop until, like, the ninja gets double turns. Yeah, see what's going on here? They're just keep, a, they're just, uh, constantly doing this. Um, revive? Interesting, because now they're going to, yeah, he's going to be able to heal up. And I think because of that heal and the revival, um, that priest should be able to live. Unless she gets mid-charged and she's going for a one-shot holy. I'm not sure. I'm guessing that ninja's going to get a turn off. Let's see if I'm right. If the ninja doesn't get a turn off, I'll be impressed. But something tells me he's going to get a, yeah, a mid-charge. And still puts her down. That's nah, dumb of the AI to do that. When the AI sees a kill like that because of holy, they're going to prioritize that kill over something else. Um, chakra? Yes, nice. Double heal right there, and she's got all that HP back. So even if she gets hit by an Earth Slash, she'll still survive. And she's, sta yeah, she's standing still. Uh, that sucks. Uh, can she move anywhere, though? Because I'm not sure, but I'm thinking maybe the Earth Slash will kill him off. It's a 2v2 over here and a 2v... It's a 2v1 and a 2v3. Oh, uh, wow. So, yeah. The Earth Slash would have finished him off. Um... I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> kind of stupid of the chemist to do that. Um, I'm surprised he didn't go for any damage there. He's just powering up. Yeah, like I said, it's good. It's a 2v1 versus a 2v3, basically. This priest is just constantly being put down, but yeah. If that sacred were to just go in there, he'd be able to start... Because they're, they're prioritizing resurrection on this uh, priest. And she's not doing anything. She's trying to heal or some shit. Let's see, is he going to be able to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, some damage. What's he going to go for? Earth Slash? Double panel Earth Slash. Damage Split t takes him out. The double Damage Split actually killed him off. So now we're down to basically... It's a, it's a 1v1 in one area. And then it's a 3v1 in the other with the Sacred. And the Chemist is the only one who can revive. So now that I'm thinking about it... um. As this Geomancer and the Chemist are in that corner making out, and they're putting each other down, um, these three units should be able to 
uh, band together and kill everybody off. Unless the sacred could just start one-shotting. And ooh, that's a nice lineup for Earth Slash right there. That double panel Earth Slash. So that chemist is just gonna get poked out if she um, uh, unintentionally gets herself a misaligned for the enemy team. 400 damage shake off, but again, you know, these guys are just making out in the corner over here. So it turns into uh, the sacred versus the other three units. Um, and look, I think they could just go for a raise too. 82%, pretty good odds. There is a chance, of course, that it'll miss, but yeah, this Geomancer has just been ruining this uh, chemist today, basically. Yeah, he can't even move in range because of his low mobility. Three move and three jump. Um, yeah, and oh look, I think there's going to be a double panel uh, elemental right there. And now that these guys are getting speed points, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, two dimes is going to be taking this. Um, Summer was finally able to get the turn in, but... I think it's kind of over because their ninja, their primary damage dealer, is about to crystallize. And I don't think that that priest is going to be able to get over there in time. Yeah. I, and uh, I don't remember if that uh, summoner ran out of MP, but if because if he did, yeah, this is over and this will be going the two dimes. Pretty back and forth between them overall. Uh, yeah. You should be able to. No. Nope. Oh, blade grass. Yep, yep. So it's a permanent three on four. Uh, the main damage dealer, or one of the main damage dealers, the ninja, is dead. Nope, and he's got plenty of MP. My mistake. I mistook over one of the other units. I think it's the female chemist that doesn't have any more mana. Uh, charm? Good odds, 60%. Unfortunately, they missed. Uh, looks like the Geomancer's dead, though. I'm not sure what spell that is. Um, any Earth Slashes? It looks like it. Yep, yep, Earth Slash from that far away. Just take a look at that. I'm a little curious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that was a max. Yeah, that was a max ranger slash right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Eight panels. Christ almighty. Imagine drought was allowed and Kikuichi Moji was into effect. It'd be magic damage with uh, wizards. Uh, so long ago we had those tournaments and was they were just ridiculous. So yeah, it is up to this uh, chemist. It's not going to happen. This chemist is going to go down. She can try to throw Phoenix stones all she wants, but that's all she can do. And remember, um, that uh, that bard has uh, Angel Song. Not just Angel Song, but um, what's the other spell? Uh, the sp Cheer Song. So they're going to get more turns in. And with haste, yeah, she's just going to get uh, outmaneuvered. So, all right, well, congrats uh, two dimes. You take the victory from uh, For the Wing Game in there. It was a pretty good bout, nevertheless. So, yeah. Uh, let's just go to our next match then, shall we? A little bit more uh, back and forth compared to yesterday's stream. So we got one more match to go. All right, let's go there. Guns and Roses and Phoenix Nine. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Oh, monster team. All right, Guns N' Roses, I remember this. All right. Let's get to it then. Um, all right, so welcome guys. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have this Guns N' Roses on top and then Phoenix Nine bottom. Wow, we got three priests and knight versus three monsters and a monk, pretty interesting. All right, let's introduce them then. Guns N' Roses, obviously based off the band. Axel the Monk. Slash the Vampire, Duff the Red Dragon, and Izzy the Cockatoris. And now for uh, Phoenix Knight, we have Callahan the Priest, Lionheart the Knight, Spoon the Priest, and Lalina the Priest. So, three priests and a knight versus three monsters and a monk. Yeah. Uh, looking at the priest. Speed save, speed save, equip armor, priest. Interesting. Uh, just a full-fledged damage dealing knight. Okay, with two swords. Uh, support priest. Uh, I'm not sure if he's got any offensive magic. He does magic defend up, so my inclination is no, right? Oh, he's got holy. Okay. Interesting. And then some magic. All right, so we got a lot of uh, we got some nukers here, and then a uh, close range person. Just because of the nature of uh, you know generics, human units, I'm gonna give this one to. Uh, uh, Phoenix 9, but two or three monsters are pretty strong, so 
depending on uh, depending upon compatibility. Let's see. Oh, I just noticed right now. So this is Scorpio, right? Good compatibility with Cancer. Uh, this is a Cancer right here, the Red Dragon. So with the exception of the Wizard Mantle, um, if she dodges with her 18%, um, if she doesn't dodge, uh, this Red Dragon will one-shot this Priest right here. So yeah, I just noticed that right off the bat. Um, Scorpio, I just saw Taurus. I think these guys are worse compared, right? Scorpio and Taurus, yeah. So the knight, the male, let's see. Uh, this knight and this priest are going to do worse, uh, have worse compatibility with this monk. So he's got speed save too. He should have skills, right? All right, he doesn't have any offensive skills, just utility. So um, I don't even know a map to go on. I guess we could just go to, I'm trying to think of the map. Let's go to, I think the slums of Zargidus. Let's take a look at that. I don't remember the map sometimes, so just bear in mind, or bear with me. <clears throat> uh, you know, let's just do this as our small map. Fuck it, I don't care. You can be small, large, or large, small. It's all the same, so. Uh, yeah, we're going to see a lot of uh, spells going around and a lot of uh, blood uh, splatter in these first uh, couple of turns right away. Any petrifies? Ah, we do get a petrify right off the bat. Interesting. So there's going to be a Suna, most likely immediately. Pretty good damage, seventy. It's not the highest, but it's still something. Uh, it's, it's the female priest. The female, uh, the female priest is the one who has summon magic. So a Suna, and then is it a quadrupanel summon? Yeah, she's going to heal four people. Oh God. <laughs> let's see if that's a Clops, or let's see if the red dragon can do anything. No. Okay, that's a little bit too bad. Leviathan. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh my. Oh, it was a 3v. Okay, yeah, it was a triple kill. I thought, I thought that was a quadra kill there. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that was just so devastating because the only one who could revive is that monk and he's at less than half life. Oh my god. Fucking summon magic, man. I think that was 48 MP, yeah. Yeah, 150 damage. Jesus Christ. Fucking summon magic, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're going to go to our large map then. Uh, small map was taken care of and is out of the way. Let's get to it. Um, uh, let's do... Let's go to... Uh, let's go to Tiger. It's cool because the, in this uh, patch or whatever, this uh, tourney patch, uh, the deep dungeon is lit up every area. So you can obviously see what, what the tile, what the structure looks like. I mean, obviously you can see with crystals, but the lights are automatically enabled even without crystals, which I find kind of cool. Because otherwise you're just looking at black tiles. Um, I'm not sure what the range is. Oh, shit. Well, I guess he's already doing damage off the bat. But I kind of feel bad because if she gets sniper like summon magic and shit, uh, this uh, Kakatoris, um, maybe even like a holy spell. Yeah, he's dead. So the monk's not going to be able to get there. Uh, so I think the if anything, the map fucked uh, Guns and Roses over because he's already dead. <laughs> Christ Almighty! I didn't even think about. Um, I was thinking about doing uh, Valkyries, but. Remember, high mobility, you know, like the fly skill, in addition to like five or six move, that's what happens without the lack of uh, synergy with movement. You know, because then you can have somebody get too far away and then they just kind of fuck you over. Um, any petrify? Oh, oh, looks like out of range for petrifies. The monk might have enough time to get over, but I'm not sure. Another 230 damage holy. Uh, I'm not sure if those monsters are going to get a turn off before the spells occur. We'll find out. I don't think this monk is going to have enough time to move over. He's a full health, so yeah, he can take that shot, but not the summon magic. Oh. Wow, that was 430 damage. I think it's... Here, pardon me, but I think that's either good or best compat. I think it's also because of elemental weakness. Because I believe the vampires are weak to earth. Am I wrong? Let me see. Earth weakness, yeah. So he basically took double damage just because of that. Oh my god. 
Yeah, so the monsters uh, just moved too far up, and that monk has only got like three or four move. So he just wasn't able to keep up with them. And now, yeah, he revived them, but they're just going to take him out. Yeah, and with uh, speeds, you know, haste and tear song, yeah. So I think, honestly, the maps might have fucked this team over. But also just summon magic as well. Not a lot of range damage. There's no Earth Slash or Wayfist on this knight or this monk. Yeah, I, I just don't see this happening. The monk's got speed save, but yeah. He's already losing half his life to a summon. I'm not sure what that summon is. Probably Ifrit or, or probably Shiva. Yeah, because of Protect, she got to survive that. She's got the Protect status for a 33% damage reduction. Wow, 48 damage. What do you do? <laughs> oh my god. Yep. He's in critical, but it doesn't matter. Even worse compat. 80 damage with worse compat, but still. Alright, well, that kind of wraps it up for our uh, double feature tonight, then. So, our first match, at least to me, was a fair bit more interesting. This one, uh, I think maybe it was just the team designs and the map layout that kind of screwed over uh, um, Two Dimes and his monster team. Not Two Dimes, sorry. Uh, Guns and Roses. But, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for sticking around if you watched the video the entire way. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you uh, later on. Probably for another stream just like this. Take care.